Okay, I just wanted to make a much quicker video about how to do the STL files. I'm going to do it two ways. One way just putting it into Lightburn and the other way putting it to ImageR. So all I did was right clicked it right from here in Google and saved it on my computer. So one of the ImageR, I went to ImageR, clicked on Upload, picked where I saved it to. Then I went to Resize. Uh, 260 dots per inch okay good for my laser then you want to pick your material one co2 I'm putting it onto wood co2 laser I'm putting it on wood so okay it'll give you a divot image like this you can say preview with material I'm going to get rid of this other background go to download and download as a BMP which I already did and then import that into Lightburn so now it's here <coughs> and also oh uh, this this is the normal image that I've saved uh, I'm going to put that into Lightburn as well and now this big grey box is around it to get rid of that just get the square tool and start in this top corner just drag out a square if you hold down the middle mouse button you can move around this way as you're doing it, so yeah, just drag out the square and then let go when you're happy. Go back to the selection tool, select, make sure the line selected, and select the image as well. Right click, apply mask to image. And if you don't want this line to cut, you can just turn off the output for that line. So now it's, it won't cut. And this one to me seems a bit dark. So what I'm going to do is, I just clicked off of everything, so nothing selected, and then click back on this picture again right click and say adjust image and then I just wanted to brighten it up a bit more I mean you just got to mess around with this till you're happy I'm going to go with something like that say ok if you do want to move it just make sure you've got both lines selected and then you can move it oh and the other thing is with the dot BMP this image you can't adjust it anymore from here so if you go to adjust image and you try and brighten it up like nothing's going to happen the only, like you know if you go down it's just going to take it away so make sure when you bring in this image it's how you want it to look so what I'm going to do now is quick preview just to make sure they're looking about right okay and then up here just change my speed and power from my book what I write you know when they come out good I write down the speed and power most of mine are around a 250 speed and a 32 power and mine is being cut onto a quarter inch thick like solid maple so I mean you might have to adjust the setting to yours but you do want quite a high power and then zero minimum power no air assist and on the this one that's been divvered in image R you want to make sure pass through is on just set your dots per inch whatever you said in image R and then click pass through so now you've got a 250 speed 32 power and pass through is on because that we use pass through we use these dots instead of if you make it divver or something then it's going to try and divver these dots which is going to not work out correct <coughs> and then the other one just want that at a 250 speed the same and a 32 power the same but this one I do want to divver because if I use pass through it's not going to come out correct it's going to be more like threshold because look you'll see when I switch on pass through as default it gives you threshold so just make sure that you you don't have to use divo you could try any of these <laughs> Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just want you can see the outcome there, just right off the laser. One pass, and you could always make another pass. Well, not now, I've moved it, but you could always make another pass. But I mean, one pass, you know, does a pretty good job at that power. 
and then I'm just going to get a bit of water and a toothbrush and just go over the top of this just to get some of this char off of there and then I'll come back okay I just got the toothbrush and run some water over it and just went along with the grain of the wood and just brushed it off and then that's how it looks after that just zoom into them a bit so you can see a bit better yeah that's the divid image R and that one is light burn and I think it looked like I brightened it up a little bit too much but I'd say you can always run it two times and I suggest if you run it a second time change your scan angle in the layer settings change it to 180 degrees and then your etching will start from the top and go downwards so but yeah just wanted to show that's one pass that's the outcome so yeah depending what you want it for or you can leave it you know without going over it with the brush and just keep it how it was with the smoky kind of look looks quite nice all you got all you'd have to do is give it a bit of a clear coat and it would stay like that so yeah I just wanted to show that I would just want to mention this wood here it was quarter inch maple I've got some off of eBay, some maple and walnut, and so that's what I'm doing this out of. And just to mention again, my settings was 250 speed, 32 power, zero minimum power. This one passed through as the image mode, and the other one dither as the image mode. So yeah, I'll, I'll write it around so you can see, but yeah. There you go, that's how you can do them. And like I say, the more runs you do, the deeper it's going to get, or you know, the darker it's going to turn out, or change another, uh, on your next pass, maybe try it a bit faster with a little bit higher speed, or the other way around, and see your outcome. And tag me in your video so I can see what you've come up with. But yeah, again, thanks for watching, and I'll put out another video as soon as possible.